Hi everyone, Stacy Weider here on behalf of Campus Mortgage with a quick update for you on No Before You Owe disclosure updates recently released by the CFPB. Now just a quick reminder before we get started, this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered legal advice or used in place of CFPB guidelines. Also, this video was issued on July 25th, 2017, and the information contained in this video is subject to change without notice. So the CFPB just finalized on July 7th some important updates to the federal mortgage disclosure requirements under the Truth in Lending, which is Regulation Z. Now, these updates are meant to be effective 60 days after the posting. However, there's mandatory implementation required um, for applications taken on or after October 1st, 2018. And the reason the date is so far in advance um, is so that lenders and vendors have time to put these uh, systems in place and make the changes to their current processes. Now, the update purpose uh, was in response to um, many lenders and many vendors asking for clarifications on some of the procedural and technical questions. Um, so this is quite a lengthy update. And what I'm going to share with you in this video is just some of the high points, some of the key updates that were mentioned in the post. Um, but definitely you will want to check this out for yourself. I'm sure your companies are also in your uh, legal and compliance teams are looking at these as well, but it's important for all mortgage professionals to have an idea of what's going on in these updates. So let's take a look at some of the key updates. Again, this is just a quick summary um, because you'll certainly want to go and review this for yourself. They're uh, making clarifications to affiliate charges. So um, affiliates of lenders could be title companies, uh, credit reporting companies, things like that. Um, they're clarifying how those charges need to be addressed. The calculating cash to close table, Constructions lo construction loans, clarifying when and what fees can change since cl construction loans can take you know, up to 120 days or longer. Decimal places and rounding, they're even getting more specific about that. Escrow account disclosures and cancellation notices. Expiration dates for closing costs on loan estimates. So when do the fees actually expire? And gift funds. Also, lender and seller credits, getting um, more clarification on that. Who's responsible for what? Um, define responsibilities for lenders and settlement agents, payoff and payment tables, post-consummation fees, principal reductions, property taxes and value determinations, rate locks, and summaries of transactions table. So again, this is just a very quick summary of some of the key things that they've updated um, within the announcement. So let me quickly take you um, to where you can go and find this actual announcement on the CFPB website. So to find these kind of updates, you will want to go to the CFPB website, which is the www.consumerfinance.gov, and simply go up to the search function, and you could type in no before you owe, and hit enter. And that's going to bring up all the related articles to know before you owe. Well, we can just simply click on the first one, which is going to bring up consumer information on know before you owe. But we're looking for um, things that are related to mortgage professionals. So scrolling down in the page, we find resources for mortgage professionals. And then you can see here where it says view, visit the regulatory implementation page. And then here is going to take a take you to all of the information on this particular update. So the TILA RESPA Integrated Disclosure Rule Implementation. And then I can go right down here and see issued a final rule. It's a hyperlink, so I'll click on that. And then that's going to actually bring me to the final rule where I can view the PDF um, or I can read it on the Federal Registrar. Well, I'm going to view the PDF. Um, that makes it a little bit easier to see and to also use the control find function. Now, as you can see here, it's a lot of pages, 560. So um, I'm sure your uh, company compliance and legal teams are already reviewing these updates, but this just gives you an idea as to where you can find these actual rules and information. And because this is a PDF, you can actually use the control F function 
and you can find things within here. So it makes it very easy. All right, everyone, that's all for now. Thanks so much for watching. For more tips and videos, please visit campusmortgage.org and look for their weekly mortgage video tips designed for all mortgage professionals, including underwriters, loan officers, processors, closers, and post-closers. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.